Yes. Who we have with us right now? We talking to me? Talking yeah. To you. <laughs> 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 we got Sellers in the building, y'all. Y'all already know what it is. We big shout out to Sellers. Yeah, yeah. What up, what up? This, uh, I go by the name of Sellers mm-hmm. from this beautiful city of uh, Baltimore, Maryland. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm with I'm Into Radio right now. That's what I'm saying. Right? Let everybody know where they can find you. Yeah, you can find me at therealsellers.com. All social media is the real sellers. And that's just spelled the real sellers. Okay. Not like the real or the real, you know. <laughs> I enunciate. Right. right. Proper English. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> why but wait, why are you the real? <sighs> Alright, so look. <laughs> so it's actually kind of a story to this. So when I first started rapping, there was another artist named Sellers. And he was kind of, I guess, like, more advanced than I was. Like, he had been around a little bit longer. So I was like, yo, how am I going to, like, get past this nigga? Like, I got to think of something. So I just made all my social media the real sellers. And ever since then, he's been a fake sellers. Uh, <laughs> I like that. I like, I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. You got flipping on him real quick. The fake sellers. Exactly. Man, exactly. But for real though, man, it's yes, definitely sir. good to have you in the building. I'm glad to be here. Absolutely. 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, tell us how you got started in this music thing right here. Um, I think, like, when it goes back to poetry. I started writing poetry when I was in, like, the sixth grade. And then it just evolved from there, from poetry. I started doing spoken word in high school. And then as it, I got out of high school, I just started rapping. And I was always a music head growing up, a huge hip-hop head. So um, it was just kind of like a natural flow for me to go from poetry to spoken word to hip-hop and rap. So, yeah. Shit. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> My man started with a bottle now, yeah. So do, do you My, still, I mean, I know music is poetry, right, but right. do you still just write just poems? I don't. I don't. At all. Sorry, ladies, you won't get me Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> you might get a Valentine song, but I don't. You ain't getting no Valentine poetry. And it's it's nothing like I still love poetry. I still follow, like I, I read a lot, mm-hmm. and I still watch like spoken word and like shit like that. Um, I don't know. I just like when I write, I just write to write music. You know, right. it's just that's like kind of what my focus has been since high school. Right, yeah. but your music sounds like poetry. Like your vocabulary, first thank of you. all, is thank like Thank you very crazy. much. I appreciate that. That um, that song with uh, beautiful. That is a dope record. Yeah, that's thank like you. Alicia. That's, not, that's like a, a sexy record. That's not released. <laughs> I have. We haven't even released that yet. Oh, we uh, okay. we finished that song just to bring it here tonight. So. Oh, oh so thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exclusive <laughs> shit as usual. Exclusive yeah, so, uh, shit. We'll be, we'll be releasing that song. Hopefully, if things go right um, and we get the backing that we want, hopefully next March. Okay. And it's going to be the first single off the project that we're working for. So, also a video, probably. God dang. That's what's up. up. So, I have a question. Do you really, do you consider yourself a conscious rapper? Um, Or people just throw that label on you when they hear the music? I don't consider myself a conscious rapper. I think I'm just a conscious person. And it, it, it kind of portrays Makes in my music because I mean all my song isn't conscious, all my songs aren't conscious, right. but you know it kind of interweaves itself mm-hmm. in my life. And um, you know I you know I've been doing music for a little while and I've grown up a bit since I first started. Like when I first started making music, nobody would consider me a conscious rapper. Right. You know I was 18 talking about fucking bitches and all the same <laughs> shit. That every, right. Right. Did you bring any of that music here tonight? <laughs> <laughs> right. Ooh, ooh. I mean beautiful. It's a couple. It's a couple lines that I slayed in the right. beautiful. You know. No, no. I haven't heard anything that you talk about fucking bitches and all that stuff. I done heard all good, good, you know, good clean, right, right. you know. Oh, no, it, it's there still. I got a couple lyrics. Uh, she liked to ride my chin head. I let her ride my chin head. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I ride my chin head. Okay. Let's Oh, I can't stop, yo. Get your girl, you know. hot in this motherfucker. <laughs> it is already hot in this motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that's Can't what make it, it is, too man. Hard. For real, though, man, you done done like you've been doing a lot of music and shit. And yeah. I know, like, it's a video that I checked out when I got mm. put on to you. Yeah. And you know, I just want to commend you because in the video, like, you reach somewhere where most rappers wouldn't go. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Yeah. And that's the that's the freestyle joint you had with the two brothers with the in the two back dudes. kissing yeah, yeah, in the yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, you feel yeah, me? Right. Absolutely. And like, like, what zone was you wanting to be like, yo? I'm doing this shit. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Cause you, cause I like the fact that you bringing you bringing tolerance, bro. Right, right. You right. feel me? You you, you letting go fear mm-hmm. and all other bullshit that come with people judging. You know, your whole thing is the no judgments zone. Right, right. You feel me? Uh-huh. So like, where was you at in your mind? Like, yo, I'm gonna do this shit. I mean, that's exactly what you said. You hit it right on the head. It's it's tolerance. It's like, at the end of the day, I wanted to make a video where, <clears throat> and then 
it wasn't necessarily just geared towards the gay community. It, it had to do with like racist people, whatever like discrimination anyone has towards anybody. I want people to know that motherfuckers could do exactly what they want to do, and it's not gonna affect me in any way. Right. Like these dudes could be making out, going at it behind me, and I'm gonna let That's them do dumb. them because it's not changing my life. It right. doesn't Facts. hurt me. It doesn't right. affect me. Thanks. So and that and that that you know goes towards if you're Muslim or if you're black, like let motherfuckers be what they want to be as long as they're not hurting you, as long as they're not right. putting out negative energy. Right. Just let them you know go on that. And that's what I really wanted to to you know kind of expand out there because it's such a stigma on that, mm-hmm. and and not just rap but really in the black community. Facts. And I feel like that's something that's holding the black community down that stigma that that people have against gay people. It's right. like and not just that, it's like if. You're different. If you, exactly. you got to be in a fucking box out exactly. here right. in order to, you know, live comfortably. And it fucks me up. Like, if mm-hmm. a motherfucker want to wear blue fucking socks all year round, that's right. what he want to do. Exactly. Right. He in his bag living him. Right. It's making him feel good. So why should people be like, oh, man, what the fuck is that? Or, damn, why you look like this? Or, damn, we red over here. You know, goofy right, right. shit. I'm just throwing metal. You know, yeah, for sure. I would make fun of your goggles anyway. Let him make 90s hip hop. Let him rock his 90s hip hop. Don't switch up because my man in the building. Right, because she was not going to do that. She was dragging him when we first came in. And that's what I was doing. She was like, I'm blind from your goggles. Let him rock his 90s hip hop. That's what I love. Let him rock his 90s hip hop. But you know, that's where a lot of conflict come in at because we're judgmental all the time. We're just. Let the motherfucker flourish. You know? right. And right. I want to thank you for bringing that to the game, man. Let thank motherfuckers you. live, you know what I mean? And sure. flourish, man. Because I appreciate it. Thank I'm you. I'm going to let you flourish. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I know the shot. I know the shot. I know the shot. With it, man. So, as far as your performances, like, mm-hmm. where can we see you perform? Because I've never seen you perform, and I actually want to. Where so. do I perform? Yeah. Anywhere like... that fucking pays me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. So you, so, you definitely, like, yeah, yeah, check yeah, 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 like, on right. that. Yeah, I'm not. Because, you know, I, like I said, I've been doing it for a little time now. You know, I've I done The Crown, and I've done Auto Bar, and I've done 8 by 10 okay. I've done all the, you know, I've been yeah. through that, you know, and, like, I'm progressing at this point, yeah, so there's no up. point in going backwards. So right. like, and not to sound like a typical rapper, like I gotta get the bag, but like, <laughs> the I, need to, I need to check. Like, if you want me to perform, you know, like I put a, a lot of money into, you know, promotion, merch, uh, recording, mixing and mastering. Like, right. I'm not just rapping. Like, this it's a whole production. Right. right. You know, I got motherfuckers to pay. Like, I got a DJ to pay. I got photographers to pay. Like, I got. Bills. Right, right, right. right, so, right. Well, you got to explain to me, man. Right. We, oh, we know. Right. Oh, we know. We know. We come from the game where, where we, when we started rapping and shit, well, I'm going to say when I started rapping. I'm going to say it, I don't rap. No, no, no. I'm going to say, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying like, if you've done an auto bar and all other shit, I've done all that shit. Right, right. So I'm coming from that aspect. Mm-hmm. It was a time when we paid to play. Like, mm-hmm. we paid to get on stage. Right. We had to... We had to sell the tickets right. to the motherfuckers to come. You Nigga, I'm not a promoter. Right. I'm an artist. Listen, you still. In certain, no, but I'm just saying, in certain instances, there weren't nobody getting no checks except for the headliners. Right. Mm-hmm. Now, cats like yourself is getting the check. Right. You feel me? And that's what I respect about the new the new wave, like Prophet said, in, in the city, is that <coughs> these kids coming out like, yo, pay me. I'm not showing up to a birthday party, nothing. Yo, but then, just... then again, you got to put in the groundwork to get No, 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 I understand. Like, right, 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 right. Just come out the gate. My check, check, bro. Right, 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 right. I'm not saying that, bro. I'm saying like people who put in the work and know their worth. Like right. it's all about knowing your worth. And right. the fact that you know your worth is fucking everything. You know Absolutely. what I mean? For Ain't sure. no discrepancy. When my man asks for his money, he, he know what he worth. Give him what the fuck he worth. Real shit. Thanks. Yeah. So we had a little conversation before this interview. <laughs> I've been you, waiting for this. Wait, God no, damn. It might not be what you think. We're going to talk first about, you know, when you were talking about what type of rapper you are. Okay, like, gotcha, gotcha. dad rap. Dad rap, yeah. What is dad rap? So basically, I feel like there's this category of, I guess, like, the refined hip-hop artist that's a little bit older and, like, not even necessarily older, but, but has a, a kid. A little or, season. But not even that, but, like, you have a kid or you have children. And it just it just forces you to think differently, right? Like right. like when I think about ki- like artists that have kids, like like we talked about mm-hmm. um, with like Dave East and even um, Jordan Lucas with the artists right. that we talk about. And we we gonna get into that. <laughs> <laughs> right. but, but there's a little bit more maturity that comes with that, like because you realize that like it's other people out here that you gotta care about and that mm-hmm. you gotta take care of before you have kids and before you learn those lessons. Like it's all about you at the end of the day. So that's what you gotta rap about, just you. Right. So it just dad rap is I guess like a refined 
expanded like thought process okay. is, is probably the best definition so does your child listen to your music hell yeah what, what <laughs> hell yeah. feedback she be because uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know we never cool to our kids right. we're never cool to well, our kids well i mean so i got like three tracks that she's on like she Aww. has a little snippet so she loves those songs <laughs> but then other songs she's like daddy i don't know about this one i'm like you listen to Taylor Swift. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you know? yeah, she's, Taylor Swift is trash. I don't like that. <laughs> hey, my, my daughter is very critical of me. Okay. Yeah, okay. But it's cool. How she, old is she? She's seven. She's oh, okay. Seven past November. Okay. That's when all the like personality really burst yeah, out. Yeah, Mine's yeah. 11. First and she's grade. like. I got a fucking 15 year old, man. Damn. <laughs> Shit real. That's I scary. I got 15. You ain't even. I was going to fall the fuck out. I was going to five children. I was going to say, he got a good start <laughs> five. <laughs> Those fucking Jacksons. Like. Yeah, those, they about to get their ass on stage and get down in this paper. Right. No, bro, I feel like you're saying, man, we need more like that. We need more responsible rap. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? We need, and that's not just like in, like what you're talking about, mm -hmm. but the fact that you're responsible, the fact you got children out yeah. here, you feel me, or child out here, mm -hmm. and you worried about their perception of you because yeah, they're gonna absolutely. see you one day. You got to move differently. You know For sure. Yeah, yeah it's like it's all about finding like that in between. Like you gotta balance it. Like you can still like talk about fucking bitches if that's what you want to talk about but at the end of the day you can also talk about your consciousness and shit that's going on in the world right. and there's artists out here doing that like and doing it very well and doing it on a big scale right which is it's cool to see so that's fucking dope yo that video you did the one you did in front of what's the name of it bro you did it in front of the church and you did like in the library and shit oh the uh, inner child video yo, yeah that that's inner the one child, yeah, yeah. Yeah. nigga you look like fucking common at you <laughs> <laughs> nigga <laughs> Tribute to that because first off, the scenes where you pick it's not like it's like something new, mm -hmm. but the fact that how you put it all together and mm -hmm. did it like was that your vision or was that like yeah. a director's vision? Like, no, nah, that was all me. Yeah. Good. I like That's to dope. have as much like creative control in the process process of like whatever I'm doing, you know, right. like. If it's mine, like I want it to be mine. Like of course I'm always open to ideas because that's how you expand on your creativity is listening to other people coming into, you know, your circle. Right. But like the basis, you know, the original screenwriting is pretty much all mine. Yeah. Shit was lit. Thank so you, I have a question, because a lot of people, you know, like rappers these days, they don't write. Do you still write? Write my music? Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. I'm a writer. Like I'm a writer at heart, you know. Okay. Like, <clears throat> that's what I do at the end of the day, like I write every day. A lot of know? people just get in the booth and just nah. write. No, I rapping. That. I like writing for them. Right. <laughs> right. Like when I go in the studio, when I go to um, record, like I got it written and I've gone over it a thousand times. Yeah, yeah exactly. So by the time you get in, you get them hours out the way. Ain't exactly. no that's definitely sitting, ain't no sitting around smoking, got bitches in exactly. on the rap and all that. Nah, that. But this shit costs money right here. Like right. I got two hours, okay. I got three songs. Let me knock this out. Nah, more right. like ten hours and like two songs. <laughs> so we we work like and we'll spend like. Shout out uh, Delta Nine. He's my Delta. current uh, producer, uh, engineer. But uh, we'll work on it. Like the beautiful song, for mm -hmm. instance. We probably worked on that song. We probably maybe like a week straight. No, it's not like that. Come on with that, the random outburst. No, yo. Yeah, but, my bad. I'm sorry. But cool. anyway. <laughs> So, you know, you kind of have a different sound. It kind of mm -hmm. is, oh, we don't want to, you know, label you as conscious, mm -hmm. but, you know, you're in a city like Baltimore. Mm -hmm. It seems like all the rappers that are out now, they're all talking about drugs. Yeah, they're all yeah, talking yeah. about bitches, hoes, all that. How, what has been the response to you here? In this city in particular? I want, in Baltimore, then you, yes. can, you know, I'm sure you get a lot of love in other cities. Um, Baltimore, um... We're very, we're a very like slowly progressive city. Slow um, it takes a very long time for things to happen and to move and for things to kind of, you know, kind of go into place. And so I don't, honestly, I don't get the love in Baltimore the way that I get in a city like Atlanta or you know like Chicago or Philly or shit, you know. But I mean, shout out to Philly, <laughs> boy. Well, yeah, shout out to. <laughs> But shout out the Eagles, though. Yeah, yeah, you already know what it is, man. We ain't gonna put it. Yo, I, I boycotted the NFL the entire season, but I watched this. I didn't Bowl. watch that Eagles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but yeah, going back to, to Baltimore. I mean, I love Baltimore to death. You know, this is where I'm from. Uh, this is where I was raised. But, you know, there, there are two other artists coming up in Baltimore. There are other cities 
to kind of like reach out and expand yeah. to. Because the point that I always always make to people is we are a city of almost 700,000 people. Like we're a major city and we've never had an artist reach like a mainstream like like source the way other cities have. Like yeah. like Chicago and Atlanta and New York right. and LA, they we, just churn like, out fucking artists. We've had R&B singers do it. Yeah, but, not, yeah. but still yeah. not still even. Not as big. Like yeah. what is Drew Hill today? Right. Oh, they right. on tour and they got millions. They just dropped a Christmas right. album. But they had their time, they are, but at one point something. <laughs> I fucking love Drew Hill. No, I'm saying, but the, are they really still relevant now? Yes, they are. I mean, they're not. You just not a fan of them no more. But them niggas got a fan of them. I'm about to say, I still got Drew Hill shit in my Apple Music. It's on the Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, they were at the they were at the uh, the monument lighting this year. They performed. Oh, yeah, that shit was kind of lit. Bro. I missed that. <laughs> Did they do Christmas in Baltimore? I was kind of lit, so I don't really remember. That. <laughs> 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 they shook their ass for that cat. No man, but like for real, sellers, man. What's up, bro? You, like, do you get like that? Uh, because of your appearance, mm-hmm. like you appear like the studious, smarty audience, yeah. brother. Yeah. Do you get a lot of that? Like. Do you get a lot of motherfuckers who don't know your racks and shit who look at you like and put you in a box immediately like oh he's this type of guy but then when you get on stage yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I, mean? I mean most people when they see me they they typically automatically just think conscious they're like all right this nigga about to you know talk about something like Asalamu Alaikum <laughs> right and shit like that and the pops, man. right exactly <laughs> either that or like. I guess not so much anymore, but I used to get like I would say I was an artist. People would be like, "Oh, what you like saying you are R&B?" I'm like, "What is that light skin nigga?" Right. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even imagine you singing. Oh my god! Like, what? Oh, but you just done shows like I just you just done a motherfucking show. Did you open up for Absol? Was yeah, Absol? I opened up for Absol. Uh, like I don't even remember. What was that, that show, like? Right? That was a dope show. That was, was yeah, that was a lot of fun. Absolutely, was fun. I love that nigga. He don't get a lot of light that he should get. He doesn't. Yeah, but he's he's, a, he's an amazing artist. It was. So, no, but I'm sorry. Go ahead. It was a dope meeting him, and it was a it was a fun show. My favorite show, at least last year that I did, was a uh, Raekwon though. That shit was uh, crazy. That's and you know, it was, I'm gonna tell y'all a wild story. He was in fucking uh, DTLR in in the fucking uh, gallery by himself. For real. Taking pictures with niggas, man. That's I how believe much it. I love this nigga, man. Like when I seen him, I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Where the security? You <laughs> right. Raekwon, but this is like real. So like, is he like that in person? Like, when you did you get the chance to? Meet I didn't him? even meet Raekwon at that show, right. unfortunately. But like, that was like the most packed, like venue I'd ever seen, like in Baltimore for that show. Like, and I've opened for like a lot of like bigger artists, but I didn't realize how much love Baltimore had for fucking Wu Tang until oh, yeah. that show. That motherfucker. Definitely. Remember when they first came out, Tech? Definitely. Niggas, for a fact. Everybody had these too, <laughs> and then everybody fucking. A lot of them niggas, like they yeah. really had a, they had a little situation down here where they had like niggas who was claiming they was Wu Tang Clan members. Yeah. That that was Wait, that was big out. That was big out here. Capadonna. Capadonna. Yeah, the nigga who drove hacks and he used to date my cousin Nita. I remember people saying. He dated my cousin Nita, y'all. Like I saw him at the Na- I was in the Nation Islam in 2005, and he was in there. I'm just saying I know it's random. That's my so life random. Like a movie. My life was like a movie. I know these cats. No, anyway, man. I didn't even know he was he lived in Roundstown. Like that's where yeah. I grew up and shit. Roundstown. No, people really said that. Like I remember being younger. And people said yeah, he that. moved. He moved down here. That's what's yeah. hot. Yeah. He was yeah. these, He was in the trenches. But besides that, <laughs> brother, you was in essence. Right? Yeah, that was dope. How the fuck like. you get in essence? Uh, it's they, the beard in it. <laughs> the fucking beard, man. Or that helped. skin. Or the skin. It helped. <laughs> it helped a lot. They had um. They were just doing these features. And uh, I had somebody reach out to me maybe like a month before that, mm. and I didn't think of I like I was like this this shit is fake this shit is not real like Essence <laughs> is not reaching out to me right, right now. <laughs> and like then they hit so I ignored it at first mm. and then they hit me up again maybe like a week or two later and they was like hey we need you to send blah 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 and I was like all right we gotta find out if this shit is really real and uh, so I sent it in and fucking I was in Essence like two weeks later so did your mama see you in Essence fuck yeah my mama saw me <laughs> hey, that's all who read that shit is my mother and her friends right. mommies and aunties mommies and got auntie, the Essence jet, they, they coming from the Jet Beauty days right <laughs> <laughs> Jet Beauty days yeah the Jet yo, yo can I tell y'all something right, real quick right, right. 
I wanted to be a jet beauty when Hell. I was younger. <laughs> I used to love Yo, it. Yo, because everybody had them, and I'm like, and I would go and I see, I'm like, I look better than her. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to be a jet beauty. <laughs> you know what I mean? Weeks it is, and if you guys to fold them, stack, 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 just like this, all jet beauties and shit. You know? <laughs> I was a freak in the child, but listen. <laughs> oh, my God. So but the fact that you, you made, so like, what was it like? Did they talk about your music any, or was it like, what was it about? They talked about my music, and they talked about my beard. And that's it. <laughs> Wait a minute, what did they what say? What the fuck did they say about your beard? They called me a bearded bay. A bearded bay? Huh? Huh? Why she trying to act dumb? She trying to act dumb. You thought she was going to say no? <laughs> no. I thought she was going to say, I'm not going to say on live national TV. Right? <laughs> No, but I'm saying, man, that's what's up, man. Shit, the aunties was trying to get him. I don't think I'm going to ever make it to essence. I love me the mature section of that. Oh, no, it's species. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what, what's the old girl name who was saying who liked the, cool, the, uh, the cougar queen? Oh, Ty. Ty, Ty. You need to tell her to put them on there. Bro. Oh, yeah. I'm going to definitely have to shoot you over. Yeah. Ty is, uh, um, she, she, that's. Comedian Ty Davis. Okay. Shout out to our girl, uh, <laughs> Comedian Ty Davis. Day. Yeah, she oh, got right. a show next Wednesday, Valentine's Day. Make sure y'all check her out. But she's a uh, downtown locker room. She has a show called The Morning After. She's the Let's young go. boy whisperer. Yes. She's like, <laughs> the yes. She's yes. our like, motivation to be one day like her. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta yeah. get you some young boys. Like <laughs> well, we're going um, to get into some of this music. And then I heard we might come back and you might freestyle. I'm going to do that for y'all. Man, you already Definitely. know what it is. Y'all stay Definitely. tuned to In Tune Radio, baby. We'll be back. I'm about to get it. 